Hey there! Yes, I know, I've actually managed to... I'd say build in the rooms. I don't have a problem with building, I just have a problem with actually getting the time to do the edit and the... Not the recording, the recording's the easy part. The voiceover! Because this one, this one is 20 minutes long, you can see that. It's, it's fun. So! I decided to actually build uh, Dan and Phil's old Manchester apartment! Because I think... Oh man, I think I built this maybe back in November, maybe? Or August? I'm hoping November, I don't know. I'm not going to check. But I think, because all I remember is because I think I was off sick from work and I was looking through The Amazing Book is Not on Fire and I was like, there's a flipping floor plan in here. How have I not already built this? Like, come on, floor plan, right there perfect so that was my day set because oh boy that was fun I tried I tried looking for you know any apartment tour videos any just going through videos from that era and I'm actually really confused because I've as you'll see there's a few things that I changed like very near the end because I like found another video that showed better angles I was like oh that's what that is Especially like some of the items like because the like the floor plans birth I view and there were some things I was like I can't tell if that's meant to be like Another thing of drawers or something else or what and then a video would reveal ah, that's a desk <laughs> That squiggle beside it's a chair. I see that's literally how it went. So um, I built this on top of one of the penthouse lots as you can tell in San Maishuno because I was like I gotta have that that beautiful top floor authenticity granted the lot is kind of bigger than the apartment floor plan so you have space for you know you can build anything you could build it this I don't know your painting gremlin has their own freaking side apartment you could I don't know create a big balcony on the other side have a garden Make them adopt a dog and give the dog its whole outside inside little like half half little dog house. I don't know. The uh, the uh, your imagination is your limit. Go have fun. <laughs> but so as I was saying, trying to go through videos for this to find because I'm assuming because originally when I first built it away back originally, like I found a video that is the literally quickest apartment tour ever. It's one of Dan's videos. I think it's one of the like unlisted ones because I can't find it again now. So it's, it's gone. But it's literally just like I think it's when they've just moved in. And the point of the video is not the apartment tour. It's a whole bunch of other stuff. And at the very end it's like apartment tour. Boop, 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 boop. Super fast. And that was it. So that and the floor plan was my general basis and the occasional other video to be like can I get a better angle of this room? That was the basis for most of this build. But then, like last week, I revisited it because I was like, huh, I want to make sure things are chill and actually take screenshots to put in this. Go figure. I'm sure, I'm sure most of you could probably find it because I think that's how I found it. I think I was trying to find it and then, and then I, don't know if, I don't know if it's forum or Reddit or wherever, but you know, you more dedicated fandom members who are super good at finding things was all like, this video and this video and this video. And it's like, ah! Because I think that's how it again, how it, no. I don't think it was how it came across the, was it how it hit? Maybe not the apartment tour video, but when I was looking for more stuff, I came across another forum post that was like, in this video, that's unlisted. This is, you guys are, like, really good at keeping things, like, at, I don't know, remembering that they exist and keeping hold of them even when they're enlisted. That's not, like, I suppose that's, uh, I mean, all, all it takes is someone to have it saved in a playlist somewhere. It's not, you didn't wave a magic wand, but it's still impressive because I'm just like, wow also doing this I really wanted to just have a binge of like all those videos from so many years ago I just want to have a little nostalgia trip I was like can I just like book some more time off just to binge all the videos now there are some elements because I couldn't decide because obviously there's like how the rooms looked when they first moved in versus a bit further down the line like how like Dan started with just one set of drawers over in the far wall and that was it and then that like at fair whatever points evolved into like and a keyboard and then like a corner desk and keyboard and so I kind of I think I played around with both and I think I ended up 
leaving dance. Like, that's it, you know? Like, the drawer and the TV and forget the keyboard, but otherwise, yeah. But I think I ended up leaving it with, like, the boop, 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 like, corner desk. That's, that's the setup. I remembered why I went back in. I went back in because we got laptops with the Strangerville. And I was like, this is my moment. I can give the Dan and Phil apartment laptops. I think Dan still has, like, a fancy-ass computer, but, you know, there's laptops all over now because it wouldn't be the laptops if they couldn't... If I couldn't pretend that they could just take the laptops and assume the browsing position. I can dream, okay? It's the one thing The Sims won't quite be able to replicate, but it's fine. Because at least The Sims will uh, not risk back problems. I don't know. This room was a lot of fun. I, Because I, I'm pretty sure the scale is slightly off width-wise, but I'm kind of like... I, I, don't worry, I bring that wall back in because I'm aware that there's... Like, it does not have that kind of cutout, see? But I was also just like, it doesn't quite look right compared to the floor plan so I think my like ratio was just slightly off but I was kind of like close enough just close enough I'm not gonna suffer that much or will I <laughs> no no it's fine it it does not yet it, nothing has yet rivaled my freaking six hours build on the most angled house ever which you can totally find in this channel it's was is it 212 angle something or other it's in the Sims build playlist. You'll see. It has angle in the name. It's it was a fun one. Interesting house. So yeah, the way I was saying, like when I couldn't, wasn't sure what type of furniture the floor plan was meaning. That uh, set of drawers in the corner. You're like, why is there three sets of drawers in here? That's because I was like, is this just another set of drawers? I'm not certain. And then realized through videos that. Yes, that's that's a desk, and there is a, indeed a tiny squiggle beside it on the floor plan that is a chair. So uh, don't worry, I fix that, and I fix a couple other little things, like I changed the rug in the living room, because I still don't think The Sims has a rug that lives up to accuracy, but, you know, it's fine. See, corner desk going into Dan's room, bringing in, the, I'm constantly just readjusting the rooms because I'm just like, ah, space and ratio, what is? I promise I had fun. I do want to try to do the London apartments, but I know that's gonna be extra fun. I think is like the, the just all the stairs in like their previous apartments gonna be fun, 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 fun. Well, but I'll get there. I'll 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 deal with those issues when I get there. Probably the next time I have some time off work. Probably. I don't know. Maybe I'll have more time to build things in Sims because I'm. Like, I'm just on YouTube content wise, I'm thinking of like stopping the like story games that are just my Twitch streams edited because it, I, look, I, my, I don't care for doing it. It feels like I'm just, I mean, I am literally just rehashing my Twitch stream by editing it, but it feels like it's just not worth it. I don't know. Like, if I change my mind with a different game, maybe, but at this point, I'm just like, there is no enjoyment. I'm just like, I will let Soma, I will finish up Soma, and then just chill. So that will be, that will in theory free up more time for maybe actually uh, getting Sims videos going. And I'll keep doing like the chill big streams that always go out on a Sunday. Like I export and I always upload on YouTube for a Sunday. It will keep being a thing. So don't don't worry, you know, your Jurassic Parks, your Slime Ranchers, they're, they're all there. If you want to just pop one of those up in the background, it's fine. It's fine, and I haven't really, I haven't 100% decided if I will do maybe little, like, well, maybe little clips of gameplay from, the, like, other things, whether it be a particular moment from a game, or just a s montage of me, like, getting scared in a game, or more likely having derps. Trust me, right now I'm playing Half-Life on stream, and oh boy, I'm going to have a beautiful amount of derps by the time I get through this. So far it's been at least one big derp every single stream. And uh, they have created wonderful clips and quotable moments. Like I thought some turrets were not set up so I ran over to them and I was like, oh are these not set up? The moment I was saying not set up they started shooting at me. Uh, <laughs> turrets are my friends. So 
This build does have quite a bit of CC, even just in wall art alone. So if you are looking for this in the gallery, like you find me, my, my ID is Shrimp Chew. So, you know, that's easy enough. Just make sure you go down to the very bottom of the options to uh, turn on, like include custom content or modded lots or whatever the exact wording is. It's there. I just don't remember the words. There's a few little technicalities in the, uh, like how functional this build is, because I have some custom content that is, you can see it there, the, like all the mix and match sort of build your own shower thing that I can't remember who it's by, but I'm sure if you pause right there, it probably says in that description. <laughs> Either way, wonderful thing. So I, I don't, I don't think I ended up using it in like the ensuite, but it is in the main bathroom to sort of better set up the bath shower. So it functions fine, but it is basically just a shower with a bathtub. Like I don't think there's no bath functionality. And obviously if you don't have this custom content, it won't be there, but you can just put in whatever bath or shower you want and it's okay, your Sims will be clean. And then you can't see it now because I haven't got that power, but uh, also the bathroom annoyed me because like, Technically, it should just be like, you know, the bathtub, bath shower takes up the full wall. But obviously, like, our Sims bath showers aren't really long enough, but the room is shouldn't, isn't short enough to be like two squares. Like, that's not going to work between the toilet and the counter. So there's just an additional counter in at the end of the bath between it and the wall. So just, just pretend, okay? I keep, like, even every time I go into this build, I'm like, I don't like the floors, but there's also nothing that looks more accurate so I'm just like it's fine it's in the name of accuracy because I just don't it's not even that I don't like that wood floor but it's just I, I feel like it it's very rarely looks right and I, I just I don't know I don't know and then it's all the cream carpeting that I'm like okay yes yes that that is what it is but it's also like it's too much it's all too plainy and maybe this is <laughs> maybe this is why I don't build a lot of things from like color dependent decided already floor plans because I can't handle realistic color schemes. <laughs> Maybe that's it. I also suspect that that closet might be a smidge bigger. I don't, I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm just letting it, I'm letting it slide. It's fine. Also, you can't tell yet because I haven't done it, but I have, that's not the final way the kitchen is. I have uh, some custom content that will get it for a mini fridge and like a little, you know, actually like raised up sort of cupboard level under your cupboards, whatever, microwave. So I add those in for actual authenticity, but it has created some functionality issues, mainly because I put the mini fridge, like I move objects on it underneath a counter to make it, you know, look how it actually looks from through the apartment, which looks great but completely makes the fridge absolutely unfunctional. So if you want to build, you're going to have to like remove that counter, which might not be so bad. Cause I know with move objects, like you can like take the items off the counter and remove the counter, then put the items back where they were. So you could like still just make the fridge look like a counter, I guess. I was just like, eh. in my head, I'm like, if I move Sims in here, they can just live off pizza. And as you see in the screenshots, I did download a Dan and Phil Sim off the gallery. So they can just live off pizza. I did, I moved like the counter once just to be like, cause they're hungry and they need food. But then I was like, no, no. And this is the, this is the nice bathiness. At one point, I don't know why, cause I didn't realize till I went back into the build to like fix things, but I have like a bath over a bath. And I think it was because I wanted like a particular tap, so a particular bath shape. And I just decided I will combine two baths, like a crazy hybrid bath monster, because that's, I mean, it can't go anywhere near as wrong as Jurassic Park, so I'm playing it safe in the hybrid world, but I, I go back in, fix it, change it, and it's just the one bathtub that's part of the uh, build your own shower content that doesn't function as a bath, but it's all okay. So I feel like it has the essence of the apartment. You can tell what I'm building. I just, I don't know. I mean, I suppose it's probably close enough for what you can do in The Sims, right? You know, full custom content uh, game consoles there. I should check if there's a PlayStation 1. There wasn't one as far as I know when I downloaded that, but maybe there is one now or someone else's maybe. I don't know, I should look into that. 
I should look into that. And then there's a teeny tiny balcony that totally suddenly just has no space to the other side because you don't have neighbors, what you talking about? And a healthy amount of Pikachus and I couldn't not, you know, put in the giant rubber duck. It's not a bathroom without a giant rubber duck, clearly. My bathroom only has mini rubber ducks and it mini normal sized rubber ducks. It is not a real bathroom. It is sad times. Sad, sad times. But I had I placed all plushies. I'm just like, plushies? Plushies everywhere. Yes? Yes. A llama for good measure. It's an old place. Llamas are allowed, right? Right. That's what I'm going with. I have mixed feelings with about that Pikachu toy. I'm like, I love Pikachu. I want my Sims with a little toy Pikachu, but at the same time, I'm just like, eh. But it's okay, because my Sims have to look it in the eye. I don't, so it's fine. <laughs> My sims are just like, please no. No, we didn't ask for this. Please no. And I'm like, uh, uh, Pika Pika? And they're like, you're not a Pikachu. Don't talk to us as Pikachu. Do you, we know you understand us. And I'm just like, Pika, 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 Pika. And they're like, bullshit. And I'm just like, Yee! big smile. Although, let's be real, if our sims could talk to us, how many of you have horrible things to answer for? I'm usually nice to my sims. I, I can't do the whole just casually mur murdering sims thing. Like, I think I did more in earlier versions, but I don't know in sims 4. I'm just like, I, can't, I, I, can't, I want them to be happy. I want them to fulfill their dreams. And maybe that's just me, like, projecting my own, Oh gee, I hope I fulfill my life dreams onto my sims. And now, like, I can't rain on their parade because I'm like, no, you deserve the best. I wish you luck. Or, you know, maybe I just haven't got bored enough. I don't know. Sims in screenshots for perfect viewing, and as you can see, laptops, desk, things are good. Those rubber duck's eyes really look into your soul. It's beautiful, eh? Beautiful duckiness. I like to think I did okay. There could be worse attempts. You can tell what I was going for, right? 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 I had to have cereal. There had to be a cereal moment. I'm just staring out the window, it's like, oh man, it's all so pretty. And yes, I did make sure that they're in like every screenshot to show you all the wonderful rooms being used. So thank you for watching. I have a whole playlist full of my sim builds. There's plenty of them because Sims 4 made me a teeny bit of a builder and occasionally I actually build you know, something that isn't a total square. Have a nice day!